what's going on guys today I'm gonna to show you how to turn your minecraft IP into a domain so if you don't know what a domain is it's pretty much mineplex.com like the whole website thing instead of using numbers for your IP address and this is important because you don't want to give out your IP address to random strangers on the internet and not only that but it's also easy to remember something that's a common word but for this example I'm gonna be using like a server name and then since it's free it has to have something at the end of it so like dot tk dot net and you guys can decide what's at the end of it but pretty much we're gonna create our own IP address using this website and if this website looks familiar that's because I did a video on this long time ago I'll show you how you can create a custom IP for your Minecraft server's IP address. So yeah, go ahead and click on the link in the description and it'll take you right here. The only thing that you're gonna need is an email address. So the first thing that you wanna do once you get to this website is click on subdomains on the left side. So after this, you're gonna have to create your account. So you're gonna need an email. So click on set up an account here and then you're gonna wanna click on starter. So go ahead and click select. And then right here, you just wanna fill in all your information, do a little code and then send an activation email. And then after that, it's going to send you an email just click on the link inside of the email and that will activate your account all right so after activating through your email log back in on this site and then click on registry to your left so after that there's going to be a huge list of domains to go at the end of your server name so let's say i'm going to do tutorial craft so you can choose any of these preferably something short because players will be typing this in so it might get annoying if they have to type in something like chickenkiller.com so for example, if I chose us.to, it'd be tutorialcraft.us.to. So something like that. And there's plenty that you can choose from. It's all up to you. The list goes on and on. But I'm going to go with us.to. So just click on the one that you want on the link. All right. So next step, leave that as A. And then here's where you type in your subdomain. So this is pretty much whatever you want to use for your players to type in to log into your server. So preferably the name of your server, even though I don't have a server called tutorial craft, that just seems to be the go to and what I use for my examples in my video. So I'm going to go with tutorial craft. You use something like this is pretty much where mindplex would go, but I'm going to type in tutorial craft and you can leave the domain as it is because we already chose it. And then thankfully it already has your IP there, so you don't have to type in anything. I'm gonna have to do this little thing right here. So there we go. And then click on save. So there we go, that's pretty much it. All right, so now this is the IP that you can give to your friends, random players on forums. You know, just when you advertise, you can use this instead of using numbers, which is really important, like I said. Don't want to give out your IP address to random strangers. To test this out, let's go into Minecraft. I'll show you guys that it works. So add server, spice up the name of it. Now let's type in the IP address that we can now use, which is tutorialcraft.us. To. And this is assuming that you guys like have poor forwarded your server. If you haven't, you have to do that first. Fortunately for you guys, if you need to port forward, I have a tutorial how to make a Minecraft server. And in that video, I show you guys how to port forward. So you can watch that. It's on the screen. Click that if you need to. But anyways, now that we're done, refresh. Bam. There we go. Join in. Bam. There we go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for plugin tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.